Oh, is it ready? It's a Jesse from Golf Pro Shop. Let's try this again. It sucks I made a whole recording in it. Sing cart go. Alright, here we go. Going back to the shop after I fixed the GoPro. Got it all working again. All the stuff I showed you guys earlier got deleted, so I'll go back through it again. All right, let's go through it again. Here's some of the jobs we're doing today. First one I was doing, we were putting the alternator on a golf cart. It has a Brenton Stratton motor, which has a, like a, they don't have an alternator, they have like a, like a, What's it called? Like a rheostat, not rheostat, but resistor. Rah, rah, rah. Anyways, they have a different kind of charging system. It's built in the flywheel, which it charges like a go kart, but it only puts out the maximum is 16, minimum is 12. Okay. This golf cart has lights and all kinds of stuff on it. They were stereo, all this stuff. So he's having trouble. So I was gonna look up a bigger, bigger uh, charging system for the motor, which they go up to 20 amp charging system. Well, you have to change the flywheel and you have to change a bunch of parts and it's on a different model motor and you have to change. So it would be probably just in parts, probably two, two, three, or four hundred dollars. So what we opted for was an alternator, which is right here, the alternator. I bought a 35 amp alternator, bigger than anything they could charge in this, plus his system there is gonna stay, so 16, 35, that's 45 amps, he's gonna have to charge everything. This is just gonna charge the battery, keep everything, for his lights, radio, and everything to work. We got the alternator on, and I was working on, before the camera broke, I was showing you guys how I machined this nut to slide over this tube so you can use it to adjust it. And then I'm gonna weld these nuts, well, both these nuts on both sides for the screw on the hymes, which tensions the belt. And then I was also showing you what we're finishing up. This one, this is a pressure washer, had a plastic tank. And we took the plastic tank off and I put the a metal Honda tank. And the cool thing about a metal Honda tank is this is a second layer. It's not part of the tank, so you can weld it. I filled it full water, I welded these plates on, and then I bolted it on here like a stock tank and hooked it all up and it works. Replacing the plastic, then you don't have to wear a plastic tank. But we're uh, going to move all the stuff out, and then I'm going to start, I'm going to weld this uh, Heim system together. And then we'll we'll work on uh, lost all that lace. Work on lathe. Uh, lathe. Let me give you a little tour of our shop. Shop's small. I live in the Pearl Valley. I have a little shop. It's about three bays. One bay is full of of uh the center bay is the only bay we use for stuff to store we got store stuff this bay right here is we're we're set for the fabrication side i got my bender i got my d3 bender my other benders a, a, a layout table a rolling machine a lathe all kinds of i got a homemade notcher that i made myself out of an old lathe and golf cart parts which is pretty cool i took uh a tiller done drive system 
and it usually has a big carbide on here it's somewhere else. but anyways that's an old lathe i turned into a notcher to notch pipe and got a press we got a you know a press and a few other things around here presser so we got a drill press cutting table mess uh, upstairs downstairs got an office well it's a lounge not an office office is in my house but that's a little setup of the table it's not a very big shop it's not a huge fab shop it could be bigger but it's only me and my dad so big enough i got a lift i bought a big lift to lift my truck cab but it also works good for the golf carts. We lift the golf carts so I don't have to crawl underneath them no more. I just put them on the lift, they work underneath. Which is pretty nice. Um, other than that, um, let's get the golf carts out and then we'll Hey, it's Jesse. I just wanted to end this video before, end this video saying that. Sorry about the misinformation about the stator. Uh, I kind of slipped there. I had a little frustration with the GoPro and channel and everything, but I'll get it better. Trust me. And uh, if you'd like to see anything else, just give me a you write in the comments. You want to see me do something else or show something else? I can. All right. Have a good day. Don't forget to like and join. All right. Later. GoPro, stop recording.